new Facebook. Uh, I'm not sorry. I don't. I don't quite understand. Um, so what we, what we do have, if you're interested in having a look, uh, we have a blog at sebthecat.com, uh, and you'll find links to the Discord channel, Twitch, which obviously you you found already, Twitter and YouTube. Um, the sites we're not launching just yet. But when we do, I do have a proper blog design and some a lot more content in the works. But just trying to get everything else in place before we get start going full speed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're we're destructuring the um, input out of our options. I might move this down here to make it obvious. This is where we define it. Uh, so we're basically saying if you provide us an input file, maybe we call it. If you provide us an input file, then we just read that file and we consider our contents that. Otherwise, uh, we get stuff from standard in. Right. Okay. And here we're going to say input file by default is null. All right, so I think this is a pretty solid uh, base class, right? So then when we uh, stands base, and what we can do then is just uh, const base is equal to require uh, base. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, options services and we're going to call super first with options and services and our return value don't know if it matters. No, it doesn't matter. Not, not. I think you're drunk. <laughs> or or you're just operating at a level so far beyond me, because I, I really have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> if I'm a man, mate. Have you come from the future? Does Corona wipe us out? Is any of this worth it? All right, so we'll call this like run. Okay. What's LWC? Is that your company? Okay, so if we, hmm, so now we should be able to rewrite our test. Let's just maybe patch this bit up a little bit. So let's pass the flags and, oh, okay, I haven't done much Salesforce to be honest. I offloaded that onto other developers because <laughs> I was um, I was selfish and, and didn't want to touch the Salesforce API because I heard it's like notoriously bad. 
Okay, so let's what what we can do now is we can create another base command here. So this should allow us to um, extract a little more um, between our commands. So for instance, like this catch, um, this can live on our base command, right? Because I think we can essentially treat all the errors um, equally. And and here we can just say base const base is equal to require base all about that base about the base all right and then that way we don't need a command out of here anymore and we can just grab that Stick that not there. But here. And instead of JSON output. Okay. So should we just say uh console dot error? And we'll just say uh, JSON dot Ah, we'll just handle it the same way. In fact, I'm not sure we need to do anything there yet. Okay. Okay, so now we say our um, now, ingest service, right, is going to equal to new ingest service. And in fact, we probably can just do this in the constructor. Ah, uh, no, we can't. Okay, and so the options, we're just going to say flags, plus the flags in there, and the services uh, will just be empty. So in fact, we don't even need to write anything there. And then we can just say uh, return ingestService.call.run. I realize I haven't done a lot here, but it does. This ingest server service just gives us an interface to stub, essentially. I think. Uh, okay, so now what's happening? Find is not defined. Oh yeah, no, I didn't define it. Okay, so that pretty much does it. So, um, I don't know how they they're going to handle their errors, but I think that's good enough for now. Okay, cool. Uh.
Okay. And then module dot exports equals base. All right. So now we've we've abstracted um, the Oakleaf uh, command away from our service, and we've given ourselves an interface to stub um, file system. So I'm not even sh too sure that this test will mean a lot going forward. Uh, It's just too messy to try and stub the input and output. So now we can just have service level tests and I'm going to create a new one here and just say uh, this is ingest.test.js and then we'll say describe uh, the ingest service and also we can initialize it in the before each I think possibly mm, not quite okay so it I might just copy in a lot of this from the previous test So instead of this returning, okay, well, yeah, we'll need to return um, hold on. let's get our service up here and our test down here. Okay, so this is always going to have to be a an async function um, or is it okay where are we getting the markdown stream from standard and reader okay yeah it will be okay so here we'll just say like const markdown string equals the awaited value of and let's extract our services oops and let's have a look what were our services by default output uh maybe say input and that was get standard in maybe or this dot get input this dot get input and maybe in fact we do use this uh, input file like so instead Alright, so now we've got like a really simple interface with the with the console. <laughs> we've basically just got input and output, and then everything else is going to be like a log or a console or something, which we're going to keep abstracted and separate. So then we can just ex extract the input service and say the content is equal to the awaited value of input right and now that's starting to look a little nicer okay so now let's go back to our 